like you talk to your mother. Talk to me. You think you're tough, don't you? Put us up on me. Cuss me out. Tell me you ain't gonna do what I say, do. I dare you. I dare you. Today, we gonna be talking about these badass kids. <laughs> Now look, y'all, I know it ain't just me, but if y'all been paying attention, whether it be social media or just walking around in your everyday life, all of us have seen these badass kids in action. Now we can blame it on a lack of parenting or social media. All I know is, is that it has to come to an end. When I was growing up, none of this was acceptable. There's a man out here, a black man, I should say, that's going around and helping single mothers with their boys. Now, he's stepping up to the plate to be a step-in father where necessary. He has a program where he comes to a single mother's home and talks to their child, talk to their son. Now, some people feel like he's going a little bit too far. In my personal opinion, I think that he's handling the situation just right. And to be totally honest with you, I feel like this is something that we're lacking in our community. So without further ado, let's get right into the clip, y'all. Like she crazy, cursing at her, telling her what you won't do, you won't clean your room, you won't do what you want to do, and you talk to your mother like that? Listen, listen, off the rip, I'm already feeling his tone. You feel me? OG giving it up like he's supposed to. You get what I'm trying to say? It's not like this little boy is a, a, a little angel. He clearly been disrespecting his mother. I mean, so much to the point that she had to call somebody in to, to give her a helping hand with him. Don't be put off by his tone, because at the end of the day, that's what some of these boys need. Shit, I know I needed it like that sometimes. I'm just keeping it a buck. Like you tough? Do you think you tough, little man? Talk to me like you talk to your mother. Talk to me. You think you tough, don't you? Put us up on me. Cuss me out. Cuss me out. Try me, little nigga. Tell me you ain't gonna do what I say, do. I dare you. I dare you. You ain't gonna do it to me? Why you do it to her? Why you talk to her disrespectfully? Crickets. You see that? Crickets. Every now and again, us black boys or us boys in general, we need to be humble and we need to be checked. You feel me? And if you ain't got nobody there to do that, mom can only check you but so much. You need a man to deal with a boy. Because sometimes that's the only thing that a boy, a little boy going to respect. Why? Little boy, answer me. Why do you talk to your mother disrespect? Damn, that nigga, he scared me with that shit. I ain't even going to lie, y'all. He had me a little nervous over here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, OG. Little boy, answer me. Why do you talk to your mother disrespectfully? I don't know why I do it. You don't know why you do it. Today, I'm going to help you find out why. And today it ends. Today it ends. Do you understand? Yes, sir. You will not call your mother out of her name. Ever. Look, little man got respect all of a sudden. Yes, sir. I'm going to help you find out why. And today it ends. Today it ends. Do you understand? You will not call your mother out of her name ever again. Now, look, y'all. Oh, excuse my shirt. I just got done working out. I got the Nike with the Adidas on, y'all. Never mind that. But look, OG, I'm going to give you a round of applause, man. <laughs> because what you just did right there, what some of these people might call going too far, in my opinion, you might have just saved that young man's life. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, he going to have to respect somebody. He going to have to learn how to respect authority or the authority is going to make him respect it. And that authority one day might be a police officer or a judge. Hopefully not. Hopefully that set that young man on the right path. So we got to get back to, you know, being a village. All you got to do is just take a look on social media and you'll see kids twerking. You'll see kids cursing. What you say? What? Motherfucker. You what? Motherfucker. 
you'll see kids just engaging in a bunch of activities that they have no business being engaged in. We got to get back to being able to check each other's children, not take it too far, not verbally abuse or physically abuse. But, yo, when we see somebody's kid doing something wrong, we should be able to check that. Guess what? If I ignore your little son or your little nephew or your little cousin, he might grow up to rob one of us one day. He might grow up and be the neighborhood bully one day and hurt one of our kids. God forbid. You feel what I'm trying to say? In these same inner cities right now, the kids that grew up together is the ones that's going through the drama. They the ones that's raising a gun to each other. I think that what this brother is doing is a beautiful thing. You know, I'm going to tag him in, in the description and I'm going to try to leave a link to his website so that way y'all can go support him because he's truly doing God's work. All I wanted to do was give my man his flowers and say salute. And we thank you, brother. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tap in for more content like this. Peace.